one of the concerns that people have in this modern world, the digital data is that of privacy and security. But privacy, you know, they're concerned that when they share data, it's the same thing we feel when we are, uh, trust other human beings uh, in being fragile and revealing something that we're vulnerable about. Um, vulnerable about. Mm -hmm. There's a there's a leap of faith. There's a leap of trust that uh, that's going to be just between us. There's a privacy to it. And then the challenge is when you're in the digital space, then sharing your data with companies mm -hmm. that uh, use that data for advertisement and all those kinds of things. There's a hesitancy. Mm -hmm to share that much data, to share a lot of deep personal data. And if you look at brain data, that feels a whole lot mm -hmm. like it's richly, deeply personal data. Mm -hmm. So how do you think about privacy mm -hmm. with this kind of ocean of data? I think we got off to a wrong start with the internet where the basic rules of play for the, for the companies at B was, if you're a company, you can go out and get as much information on a person as you can find without their approval. And you can also do things to induce them to give you as much information. And you don't need to tell them what you're doing with it. You can do anything on the backside, you can make money on it, but the game is who can acquire the most information and devise the most clever schemes to do it. That was a bad starting place. And so we are in this, period where we need to rec we need to correct for that. And it need we need to say, first of all, the individual always has control over their data. It's not a free for all. It's not like a game of hungry hippo, but right? they can just go at it and grab as much as they want. So for example, when your brain data was recorded today, the first thing we did in the kernel app was you have control over your data. And so it's individual uh, consent, it's individual control. And then you can build up on top of that, but it has to be based upon some clear rules of play of everyone knows what's being collected, they know what's being done with it, and the person has control over it. So transparency and control. So everybody knows what does control look like? Me, my ability to delete the data That's if right. I want. Yeah, delete it and to know uh, who it's being shared with under what, you know, what, under what terms and conditions. We haven't reached that level of sophistication with our products of if, if you say, for example, hey, Spotify, please give me a customized playlist according to my neurome. You know, you could say you can have access to this vector space model, but only for this duration of time, and uh, and then you've got to delete it. We haven't gotten there to that level of sophistication, but uh, these are ideas we need to start talking about of how, do you, how would you actually structure permissions? Yeah. And I think it creates a much more stable set for society to build where we understand the rules of play and people aren't vulnerable to being taken advantage. It's not fair for an individual to be taken advantage of without their awareness with some other practice that some company is doing for their sole benefit. And so hopefully we are going through a process now where we're correcting for these things and that it can be an economy-wide shift that, because really the, these are, these are fundamentals we need to have in place. It's kind of fun to think about like uh, in Chrome, when you install an extension or like install an app, it's ask you like what permissions you're willing to give. It'd be cool if in the future it says like, uh, you can have access to my brain data. <laughs> I mean, in, in the, it's, it's not unimaginable in the future. The, the big technology companies have built a business based upon acquiring data about you that they yeah. can then create a you to model of you and sell that predictability. And so it's not unimaginable that you will create with a kernel device, for example, a more reliable predictor of you than they could. And that they're asking you for permission to complete their objectives and you're the one that gets to negotiate that with them and say, yeah. sure. But, but so it's not un, unimaginable that, that might be the case. 